Hey, good Tuesday morning, my friends. You know, I guess one of the beautiful things about my job is I've been actually working remotely for years now, remotely as in home or wherever, wherever my life has taken me on that day. Uh, so I'll keep doing what I do. Let's get into the weather here and tell you what we're going to talk about. We are looking at uh, two rain systems, one coming in tomorrow, Wednesday, and then another larger one coming in Thursday night into Friday, mostly rain systems, although in the UP it will be an accumulating snow. I'll show you how much snow they can expect, or you can expect if you're watching uh, from the UP. And also, we have, I figured I'd give you some new good news. We have a 60 degree day on the way. Uh, when we get into late in the week and that storm system starts to approach. So here we go. We're looking at the European model. And as a result, it'll show you the storm systems coming. So this is today. And today we have great weather out there, travel weather, a little cooler than what it has been. But as this next storm system approaches, notice that it's almost all rain, the exception, maybe the northern fringes, maybe what we call the sunrise side, the northeast part of uh, lower Michigan, uh, could get into some oh, wet snow mixed with the rain, nothing significant. So that's the first rain system that moves by. The second system here, you could see, looks larger. This is Thursday evening, and here comes the rain, the snow across the UP, and we're into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon. And one note on this one, two notes on this one, the storm center tracking across the center part of Michigan. Is that uh, a normal track for this time of the year? I would say late March, the normal track, the 30 year average storm track would be still Indiana, Northern Indiana, Northern Ohio. So my theory continues to show each day that uh, things lean, lean a little more toward early spring than winter hanging on because that storm center is a little farther north, gets the southern part of the state. Now it looks like Saginaw to Grand Rapids southward gets us in those areas into the 60 degree weather. This storm moves off. There is a little cool air behind it, so there's a little bit of wraparound snow. We're going to look at that a little closer. And as we go into the weekend, it looks like dry weather on the way. Hey, uh, good morning, Alicia Marie Johnson. Uh, good morning, John Kleinschmidt and David Asher. Uh, Jeff Joy, Mark, is it safe to put my snowplow away? I would say if you live anywhere from, oh, let's say anywhere from Mount Pleasant southward, yes, it's safe to put your snowplow away. If we get some snow, which we may, it's probably gone within six or 12 hours, something like that. Uh, Lori King flying out Friday from Grand Rapids. Clear? No. Uh, Friday? Eh. Depending on what time you're into the showers, maybe thunderstorms early in the morning, thunder showers, we'll call it, and then drier weather after that. And I did want to show you that as we go into next week, the next round of storm systems flares up and comes toward us. So is we go to the end of this model run. Look at this. Look at this. The northeast corner has a storm system. This is 10 days out, last few days of March. The middle of the country has a storm system, and the west coast has a storm system, a very regular storm track with a, a weather system about every three uh, to five days or so. Uh, Alex wants to know how much snow in the Yoop. So let's get to that too. A little bit closer to look for you here. All right. A uh, little, just a little close up of the storm system, just to give you a feel for the first one. That's mostly all rain, little snow on the Northern fringes. And then this is the Thursday night storm. This is Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. So that's when the rain starts. And then that's the Friday morning uh, storm system. And uh, there you can see the rain snow line. 
uh, into the northwest part of Lower Michigan and then off to the east. So someone asks, how much snow? I would say it's probably a three to seven inch snow across the UP and maybe one or two, maybe three inches across the tip of the mitt. That would be Thursday night on into Friday. More importantly, how much rain total out of this? And I think we're looking at an inch, inch to maybe close to an inch and a half all totaled from Wednesday into Friday. Uh, hey, you're welcome, Alex. Eads, hopefully I'm saying that right. Are you going snowmobiling one last time? Uh, Michael Harris, yes. We have uh, enough toilet paper. Hey, I thought about this. Why can't I take my, if we run out, why can't I take my miter saw <laughs> and cut um, paper, to <laughs> paper towel rolls <laughs> into toilet paper? You know, you can get three, three or four rolls of toilet paper out of <laughs> one paper towel roll. All right, so... Uh, a rain on the way, what I would call an April rain, a solid rain, you know, the kind that wakes up your grass and uh, the old adage, April showers bring Mayflowers, coming maybe a couple of weeks on the early side. Hey, good morning, Stacy Alts. Thanks for watching this morning. Uh, Lori, any snow for the Hershey area? Remind me again where Hershey is. I'm drawing a blank on that. All right. Good morning, Wheeler and Tim Colburn. All right. High temperatures today. Temperatures around 50 degrees in the southeast quarter of the state. Otherwise, you're in the 40s. Grand Rapids, you're about 43. North, you're in the 30s. Now, tomorrow, mid 40s from Saginaw to Grand Rapids, southward into the Detroit area, Kalamazoo. This is Thursday. Sorry. I made you wait for the. Uh, 60 degree temperatures, and that's now from Saginaw to Grand Rapids southward, 60 to about 64 degrees. That's on Thursday. Still hanging in there Friday morning before the cold front comes through. Detroit, Ann Arbor, Jackson, Monroe, cooler temperatures sliding in. Behind that, Saturday's cooler. High temperatures in the 30s. Uh, 20s up in the far northern part of Michigan and in the UP, northern part of lower Michigan and in the UP. And Sunday's cool, about 40 degrees. And then Monday, we're popping back up into the upper 40s. So we're looking at about a two-day cool down as we head into the weekend. And that's about it. Hey, good morning, Bob Mort Mottorn from Escanaba. Thanks for joining me this morning. Now, remember, you can join the Michigan Weather Facebook group. Another thing I want to remind you of, we do have a text message service. We've started up at MLive for the coronavirus. You don't get inundated. I signed up just to see what kind of content we're providing. You don't get inundated. You get, uh, I think I got three messages yesterday, the main ones, and it'll take you to a link on MLive with the aggregate of all the main important stories. So. Go to the MLive uh, actual website, MLive.com, and at the top it'll say sign up for text messaging, and um, it'll give you the big stuff and not an overabundance. I signed up, and I think you'll find it informative. That's what we're trying to make it on MLive. So there you have it. Today's a dry day. We get some wet weather on Wednesday. We definitely get some wet weather late Thursday into Friday, Thursday night, Friday morning more of a spring-like wet weather. So at least in weather, we are heading in the right direction. And there is some thought that warmer weather, uh, warmer weather is beneficial to us in like a flu season. Okay, let's leave it at that. Um, so the flu season tends to go down some as the warmer weather moves in because the flu virus I read uh, lives better in cold, dry environments. They don't know if the coronavirus is the same way, but hey, at least if we can end the flu season, then we don't have to deal with one sickness, right? I'll get off of that right now. Thanks for watching. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. We'll keep doing this. And yes, 
I'm safe. I'm remotely. Unfortunately, that's probably one of the downsides of my job is it's a very almost lonely job because it's usually just me in my office. That's about it. Uh, so take care, be safe, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.